Hello there, and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. You guys, I have a huge haul to share with you. Most of it is vintage fun things. I also found some furniture, a huge piece of artwork, and just some really cool things. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So let's get started. So this past week, I didn't go to the thrift store, but I went to a huge church sale, like massively large church sale. My sister and I go to it every single year. You guys probably remember me talking about it in the past, but it took us almost three and a half hours to go through all the rooms, which we took our time because it wasn't really busy when we went, which is odd because normally it's like super busy, but we did go a day earlier, like it's normally like a four day thing. We went on the second day and it wasn't busy. It was crazy. We pretty much had the place to ourselves. So we just took our time and did some shopping and it was awesome. So like I said, I found some really fun things. Most of it is vintage. So let's get into the first item. So I probably won't remember how much everything cost. Not everything had tags. Some of it were some bags. Some of them took the tags off. But I know that I spent a total of $43 on all the little stuff. And then I spent $35 on the furniture piece, which you have to pay for separately. So that is what I spent. And the first thing I picked up was two goodie bags from the kids section so that I could pick up two Care Bears for my daughter Zoe. She loves Care Bears. So all the stuffed animals were $2 and they came in a bag and it had two items in it. Are normally a big stuffed animal and then like a smaller stuffed animal. Well, those smaller stuffed animals went right, right to the babies. I know I can't even remember which items came with these, but we picked up the purple Care Bear, which she was very excited about. And then, sadly, <laughs> we also picked up the blue Care Bear, but little Miss Quinn got it off the table and ate her eyes and nose off already. So, this Care Bear is now a dog toy, which Zoe was not too happy about. <laughs> so the next thing I picked up was a piece of artwork. It's actually needlework. It was only a dollar. And I actually picked it up for my friend Nicole Northgarden because I know that she loves Holly Hobby. And I just thought this was so gorgeous. Look at that. Zoe did a really good job stitching this. I'm not sure if it's actually considered like embroidery or if it's considered, is it cruel? Is that what it's called? I don't really know. But it's definitely some really good in, you know, needlework. And I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so cool. I was not going to pass it up for a dollar. And I probably would have brought it home regardless because I think it's so cool. So I picked that up. I let her know that I did and she's very excited about it. And I'm glad because I think it is so cool. So the next thing I picked up was a blanket. I call them camp camp blankets because they just remind me of camping. I, I'm sure there's a certain name for them, but it looks like this. And it's got the little fringe on the ends, which I think is super cool. A lot of them, you'll come across them and they're like wool or whatever. I think this is a synthetic blend one, but I love the plaid. Look at all that gorgeous red in there. And I love the tassels on the end. Um, this one doesn't have like a tag to let me know, but this was only a dollar. So I was not passing them up, passing it up. I have two other ones like this. Um, and I love them. They are perfect for like lap blankets when you're sitting around the campfire. So I always bring them camping, but I also like to use them as um, tablecloths for the fall season. I just think they're perfect for that. And then of course you can also, as I like to use them as well on like the end of the bed, that sort of thing. So this was a great find at only a dollar. And speaking of only a dollar, this next item I saw across the room and had to speed over there to get a closer look. I thought at first that maybe it was a planter, but sadly it wasn't, but I didn't really care. I picked up this little ducky. Isn't he adorable? He was only a dollar and he's like a little covered dish. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so in love with this. <laughs> he's going in my office. I think I'm gonna keep him on my, maybe on my desk or my side console table. 
and hold like rubber bands and paper clips in him because I think it'll be perfect for that. So I love it. I think it is so adorable. All right, so then the next thing I found was a couple of pieces of what I consider to be vintage jewelry. I'm not real sure if it actually is because I can't tell, but I found a little pair of clip-on earrings with the gorgeous little rhinestones. I loved these. These were $2. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I also found a cute little winter brooch with the rhinestones. And then it's got the green one in the middle, which I think is so pretty. It, does, it is missing one stone right there. You probably can't tell too well, but you have to really look at it. From a distance, you really can't tell. But I just thought it was cool. It's got that star snowflake sort of shape and I love the fact that it's got the little pop of color in the middle so I thought that was cool and this one I think was two dollars if I remember correctly I of course had to look at the books because last year I found some really cool things this year I didn't have as much luck but I did find this really pretty book right here it is a children's reader book it's called black gold the only craziness is, the only thing is, it's from the library. I'm going to see if I can't get this off, this little label off. I already took one off like this that was wrapped over the top of it. And it came off without damaging the book itself. So hopefully I can get this off without damaging the book. But I just thought this cover and the color of it was really pretty. And then I found a little Christmas carols book, which has been around a while. The covers kind of comes apart from the book but it's got some really cool like graphics in it and i just saw this little snowman on the back so for nothing else it would be kind of fun to use that but it also has some great christmas music in it look at that isn't that fun oh like this one is really pretty it's got deck the halls i love it so anyways, this little book will be awesome just to maybe display. Maybe you can take a few. I'm not going to feel bad about like taking it apart because it's already falling apart. It might be kind of fun to use some of the songs and stuff like that for projects, decor. I don't really know. So anyways, I picked it up. It was only a dollar, I believe. So I thought that was pretty cool. I found another book that I was super excited about. It is a Kitchen Glassware of the Depression Years by Glenn Florence. Looks like this. And inside, you guys, it goes through like all the different, you know, it tells you all the pieces in different collections. Goes through a lot. Those are like measuring cups. I've actually been kind of looking for a book like this because I don't really have anything. I don't know about a lot of the glassware that I see. So I thought this might be kind of fun to look through. I don't know if I can show you. But basically, it just kind of goes through a whole bunch of different glassware items, which I think are pretty cool. So I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of a fun read kind of go through it see what if any of the items in here is something that's already in my collection or it might give me ideas of things to actually collect that I would love so we shall see and I thought that was pretty cool so this next item I thought was absolutely hilarious there's one really large room and it had all the craft things and all like the holiday decor items mostly Christmas Halloween a little bit of Easter that sort of thing well I was on my way out the door and I happened to glance up at like the chalkboard area and they had a few like, you know, like decorative flags and that kind of stuff kind of like pinned up on that area. And this little guy was sitting there. It's a die cut for the new year. It says happy new year on it. And I just thought it was super adorable. Well, I, I picked it up, looked at it. It didn't have a tag on it, didn't have a price tag. There's nothing on it. And so I asked the little lady, the lady that was working the room, I said, is this part of the sale or is this like decor for the room? You know, she's like, oh no, it's for sale, but I don't really know that it's worth a dollar. 
And I'm like, it totally is worth a dollar. She's like, oh, okay. Well, just let them know up front that you're, you got it from the craft room. They'll pay, and, you can, and it was only a dollar. I'm like, okay. So then I go walking over to my sister. I'm like, oh, my style is not even worth a dollar. <laughs> but anyways, I thought it was hilarious. I thought this was super cute. So I picked it up for a dollar. I got a ton of stuff from that craft room area. The first one being this ginormous plastic pumpkin. It's got a little handle on it. It's rather new. It's not vintage at all. But it was only $2, and I was not passing it up. I love using these little little guys. I put, like, glow sticks in them at Halloween, and I like, line them up on the steps and stuff. It's so much fun. So I will be adding this to my little collection of plastic pumpkins that I like to decorate with. But look at the inside. I filled it up with a whole bunch of stuff from the craft room. There's so much in here, you guys. That is so cool. So let me start with something that I think is absolutely adorable. It is a hand crocheted baby tree skirt. It's in white with red trim. And it says, Noel. Isn't that cute? I just love it. I think it is so cool. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but I was not going to pass it up for $2. So I picked that up. Oh, you guys, this next item is one of my favorite finds of the day. It's an adorable little apron for Christmas. It was only a dollar. It's like a child size, I think, in red. And it has a cute little Christmas scene on it. Can you see that? It's got a house, a little church, trees, a fence, a little snowman. And then it's got the stripe on the bottom, which I think is so, so cool. So I love this. Absolutely in love with this. And like I said, I think it's probably one of my favorite things that I found. So this next item was a dollar for a three pack of vintage styled pot holders. I need pot holes, hold, pot holders. I need pot holders all the time. I'm always running out of them. But I thought these little Christmas ones were pretty cute. There's a Christmas flower one. I cannot remember the name of this flower. It starts with an A. What's it called, people? Let me know down in the comments. These do have tags on them. Let's see if I can't. Oh, my glasses aren't on my head. I'm losing my mind. Let's see what it says. 100% cotton. Okay, so maybe these aren't vintage because they do have... It just says made in China. Maybe they're not vintage. They're just made to look vintage. That's probably what it is. So anyways, there's the flower one, which is okay. But I really loved this one right here with the poinsettias on it. How adorable is that? It has the cute little hook on it. And then there is this one. I think this one is the best one so far. It is this little one right here that's shaped like a little house. It is so adorable. It says Toy Store on it. And it's just so darn cheerful and Christmassy. And I can't get enough of it. I think it is awesome. So anyways, yeah, I just love it. It makes me smile and smile and smile. So this will get hung somewhere in my kitchen for the Christmas season, no doubt. So this next item was a great find. It was $2. It's a vintage Christmas tablecloth, and it is so cute. It is pretty stained up, so it'll most likely turn into some sort of something or another that I'll use the fabric for because it really has a lot of stains. Like, it's a lot, like, more than a handful of stains. But I love the design on it. It's got the candles with the poinsettias underneath it. And then it's got this nice little scalloped and holly berry um, border. And it is so cool. You guys know, like, I'm obsessed with the, like, Christmas candle motif. It is, like, my favorite. And then secondly is the poinsettias. So, yeah, it just repeats that around it's got the little design in each corner and then one in the middle 
and it is so cute and adorable. Most likely we will make some sort of Christmas pillow out of this. <laughs> then, um, for a dollar, I picked up a two-pack of Christmas towels that have this adorable, um, what do you call it? Candle motifs on it. Once again, the candles with the poinsettias. I think they're just so pretty. Let's see, are there any tags on it? So this I don't think is vintage because it does say Field Crest on it. I think that's a newer brand. I'm not real sure. But anyways, so I was happy to find um, two of these little towels. They had some other ones that were like in red, but I didn't really like the design so much. So I got the one that I like the design of, which is kind of fun. All right, so the very last thing in my cute little pumpkin over here are some vintage patterns. You guys, these were five for a dollar. And of course, I went through on the stack of them that they had quite a few vintage patterns. And I was looking for anything like 1940s styling. Um, but these mostly look like 1960s to me. Um, some of them have dates. This first one does not. This one is by Simplicity. And it looks like this. I think it's super cute and then this one's adorable I am um, love it it's got the pajamas which is so fun that one doesn't have a date either this one does have a date it's by simplicity this is from 1963 and then this one is really cool this just screams 60s to me it's also by simplicity and this is 1966, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 19, am I right? Yeah, 1966. So cute. And then finally, I picked up this hat pattern, which is very unique for me. I don't have anything else like this. I think it is so cool. It's got like two different styles of berets and then like a head wrap, or they call it a turban but it's like open on the top. It's rather odd looking. I've never seen one like that before, but that's all right. So I thought it might be kind of fun to try my hand at making one of these loose kind of fitting berets that kind of sit on the back of your head. Where's the picture? Oh, up here. You can see that it kind of sits in, towards the back. I like that one better than the kind that's fitted at the base and it kind of poofs up. But anyways, so we'll see. We'll see if the pattern pieces are in there. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll see if we can't make ourselves a cute little hat. A vintage-inspired hat. <laughs> so that was fun to find the vintage patterns. It's always exciting for me. So this next item is really super cool to me. Um, we are a Pepsi family. Um, <laughs> it started with my dad. He would always give people a hard time if they didn't serve Pepsi and only served Coke. And it was kind of a... You know, his thing that he did, all good-natured or whatever, but he liked to collect, like, older Pepsi items and things like that. So, I saw this Pepsi carton, and I was like, oh, I've got to get it. And it looks like this. Isn't this awesome? I just love it. So, this whole Pepsi carton, and then it has five bottles in it. It was only $2, you guys. And it had some fun actual bottles in it, <laughs> which is silly it actually has a Coke bottle in it. This is a big bottle, like super heavy glass. I have no idea if there's a way to find out when it was from, but I don't know. It also has a Sunkist bottle, which is pretty cool as well. And then let's see, it's got two of the Schweppes, Schweppes? Schweppes Club Soda. There's two of those. And one of the Ginger Ale. Like that. So I basically got it for the carton. I just think it's super cool. Um, I told them, do you want to keep the bottles? You can resell it, you know, the bottles separately. And they're like, no, you just have to take the whole thing. I'm like, all right. So I took the whole thing and I'm super excited about it. So I'm not sure if I'll end up keeping the bottles. I'll keep them around for a little bit, but I'm not thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, really. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Not crazy about the bottles, but totally crazy 
about the curtain. <laughs> Alright, so then I have two more things to share with you, and they are too large to hold up. One is a piece of furniture, and one is a piece of artwork. Let's we'll start with a piece of artwork. It was only four dollars, you guys, and it is ginormous. I had originally thought when I saw it that it was from like Homeco or something like that, and it may be, I don't know. It doesn't have any markings on it. Um, someone handwritten on the back, and it says Nostalgic Summer, but then on the front, it, it does have a signature, and it says Eric Sloan. So here's a clip. So I did look up the artist's name before <laughs> recording this time. Eric Sloan was an American painter and he did a lot of landscapes and cloudscape photograph or artwork. Um, a lot of his, most of his work are like of rural buildings like barns, farmhouses, covered bridges, all that kind of stuff. So that seems to kind of be his theme, like through a lot of his photos, at least that I saw that came up in Google, was the covered bridges, which I think is so cool. Now I love this print. I love that it's got like that really muted, kind of faded, antique colors to it. I love that it's got, you know, the beautiful sky, the covered bridge, the little um, houses in the background, and then of course it's the little boy and girl with their dog and the fishing pole and I just think that is so quintessential summertime and I think it is so adorable so I was not going to pass it up for four dollars I think it will look amazing over my fireplace or over my bed I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use it for regardless the frame will most likely get a little makeover it needs a little help so I'll be doing that for sure and I'll share that with you when I get it done. The second piece of furniture I picked up was a lovely bar cart. I paid $35 for it, and which probably was a little higher than I should have paid for it, but it is so cool. And I think it'll look really cute in my kitchen. So here is what it looks like. So isn't that bar cart cute? I've always kind of wanted a bar cart. I think they're so fun, um, but I never thought I would get one. And I like this one in particular because it's got the bottom shelf and then the tray on the top that you can take off. And I just think it looks really cute and classic. It does have some issues. It, like some kid has drawn on it with a Sharpie. There's some discoloration on the tray itself. Um, but it's got the little cute wheels on it. It's kind of got that you know, straight line sort of mid-century look to it, and I think it is pretty cool. So, it'll probably get a makeover just because of the rough condition of the tray itself. That is what I found this week at the church sale for this week's Thrift Store Thursday. So, I would love to know down in the comments if we had gone to the church sale together, which would have been very fun, which of the items I brought home would we have had to race to get to first? <laughs> so let me know down in the comments. And of course, hit that thumbs up for me and the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I, on my channel, love to go thrifting and share with you my hauls. I love to decorate with my thrifted decor. And I like to just share all the little things that go on around our house. So if that sounds exciting to you, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.